Hello everyone, I'm Jim Fan Zhang and I'm a committer of Overlooking Community. The topic I'm going to share today is about Omi Runtime. Um, it's a common runtime framework for analytics engines. This is my agenda today. I will introduce the modern analytics ecosystem and explain why it needs a new modern Omi Runtime solution. Then I will introduce the Omni Runtime core technology, OmniJIT. Finally, I will describe the status and the future work of Omni Runtime. According to the European HPC research priorities, heterogeneous uh, computing hardware becomes the mainstream, and the computing power has been deeply involved. In, in the entire data processing process. So more and more new uh, data processing framework use the LLVM technology to accelerate uh, computing by the hardware, like MIT high performance optimization based on Rust and LLVM. Stanford high performance runtime is also based on LLVM. Let's see how the current um, analytics engine adapt to this trend. Most of engine optimize themselves. This local optimization cannot be reused by other engines. So each engine needs to be optimized independently. For example, uh, Spark provides a whole stage coding to improve the performance but this optimization point cannot be used by Presto or our engines. We, then, we can think about this. Um, can we have a common framework to support different engines? Therefore, the goal of Omni Runtime is um, code once and run fast everywhere. Um, Omni Runtime share the optimizations across different engines and the support accelerator computing by different hardware, like ARM, TPU, DPU, x86, um, and uh, FPGA, and so on. Let's see the details of Omni Runtime. The Omni Runtime design principle is as follows. Uh, first, portable across platform to support different analytic engines. And it must be easily to integrate. Second, provide a single development framework, allowing operator developer to easily develop operators. Third, the operator can be automate, automatic of computer where optimization by the OmniJIT. And the Omni vector will provide a coroner memory structure of data. Enable operator to process data more efficiently. Fourth, portable across hardware to support different computing hair. Before we, we introduce the OmniJIT, we need to know why we need high performance operators. Let's look at the TPCX, um, TPCH SOC1 statement. This statement uses four operators. Table scan operator loads the data from the data source. Filter and projection operator uh, do the filter and the projection. Hashi aggregation operator group and Sum the data, order by operator, order data. The last three operators are about computing. That account for about 60% of query time. Just think about this. If we have high performance operators to reduce 6% to 10%, the performance of 
this query statement can be improved by twice. That's why we need high performance operators. So how do we implement the high performance operators? Let's look at the operator optimization in current engines. The operator performance conflict with the development. There is no way to achieve high performance and easy development at the same time. Let's talk about this. Many analytic engines have used operator optimization, such as in parallel circle engine for Hadoop to improve their performance. In parallel approach, it reduced the interaction count by four times and the branch by three times. In parallel dynamical um, generator expression evaluator by LVM build API. In parallel also provide pre-build functions to simplify the op operator optimization. And uh, the LLVM build AR uh, API uh, grows this pre-build function into more complex operators. This approach prov uh, provides good performance, but is not so friendly to operator developer. Well, the AR is another attempt to simplify operator optimization. The analytic engine will generic uh, weld AR, which is then um, compared to the final bytecode using LLVM. The syntax of weld AR is very similar to a closure in Rust program language. However, there is no debugger for the L, uh, weld AR. Another technique is used by Spark and Presto. Spark uses Genino to generate Java source in memory and compile them into bytecode classes that can be executed in JVM. The code generation process of combining operator logic into a big, a big loop that reduces function evocation overhead and memory copying in intermediate result. Presto is similar. Query generator class converted into high-level errors and use Java JIP to optimize them. This approach does not uh, bring the best performance and is not good for development and debugging. OmniJIT is used to create operators using high-level languages and a specialized runtime, achieving similar or better performance compared to uh, traditional JIT approaches. Bridging high performance with ease of development, OmniJIT provides a just-in-time tool to engine development. OmniJIT enable director um, to use high-level language to um, implement the uh, uh, operators. The developers focus on operator logic instead of optimizing the operators. They use C or C++ to um, implement operators. The development cycle is fast and easy to debug. Then the operator is integrated into the target system. And the uh, OmniJIT API is invoked um, to provide context information during runtime. The operator is automatically optimized uh, by OmniJIT and has high performance. Totally, the only thing you need to do is use C or C++ to write operator. Do not care how to optimize the operator. It's so easy to development. And then you can get a high performance operator.
the life cycle of um, operator is split into two stages. A pre-processing stage let generate operator IRs, and a running stage let optimize LAN. In the pre-processing stage, no runtime or hardware specific um, hardware specific optimizations are used. Once the operators are, have been coded, the source is then passed into um, preprocessor. The preprocessor performs high level syntax validation and operator confirmance check. The generic operator IR is um, a representation of a generic of a generic operator code at the runtime that is as low level as possible, but at the same time high level enough for future optimization. In the current implementation, the preprocessor backend use LRVM to generate the AR. However, we have designed a framework that is not um, depend on single per compiler backend. We plan to add additional backend to support um, to support the various needed uh, needs that LLVM cannot uh, fill, fulfill. It uh, in the second runtime stage, analytic uh, engine want to evoke the. Uh, operator to process the um, data. It provides the runtime information to omnijit, such as um, um, parameters, statistic, data layout, and hardware information. Then the omnijit specializes the AR and the generate high performance bytecode that can be directly invoked by the engine. The bytecode will be cached for use the stand operator. Here is an example of how Omnijit specializes an um, operator. The blue block is uh, a piece of code uh, to process data based on the type. The preprocessor generator IR and uh, in this IR we can see a uh, left layers of judgment branch here. This judgment is required for processing each load of data. So there is a performance overhead. If the data type is provided to the Omnijit at the runtime, the Omnijit will help you to remove the judgment branch from the AR to form a foreign optimized operator. This is a simple example of parameters uh, specialization. Parameters specialization also, also support instruction combination and code inlining. In addition, Omnijit support optimization based on uh, data layout, modern CPU, uh, GPU, and um, PGA can take advantage of vector operations. Where the same operation is executed on large amounts of data. But performance may deteriorate if long types of operations are used. In order to avoid this, the layout optimization, optimization stage utilizes the data layout information and pick the best specialization optimization for the data processing. Another point is statical information, such as uh, data cardinality, can be used to select a specific Hasi technology. And it also possible to create more hardware specific version form the LLVM IR that make the uh, compiler can apply more optimizations to a program once it knows the hardware details of runtime machine. 
This information is captured at runtime and oral omnijit to tailor specialized versions that are optimized based on the hardware specification of each load, uh, each node um, running on a cast. Um, we can use, uh, we use C++ to implement the open organ operators and uh, um, optimize the list operator across the own JIT. Um, uh, all operators are executed 1,000 times over 100 GB of data for each thread allocated. We first uh, run the uh, C++ native operator over the data, then we executed the same operator within operator uh, open open using the Java operator. We can see later optimized operator is several times uh, better than the open open operator. And uh, we have integrated operators into open open. And they uh, improve the performance by 30 to 40%. Currently, Omni Runtime support Java, Scala, C, and C++ binding, and support more than 10 operators of Circle Engine, and support basic types, um, such as borrowing into uh, long, double, and uh, VHR, and uh, OmniJIT support parameters specialization. In the next step, um, we will spot Python and Go. In addition, we will try to simplify operator development. We also want to implement HPC and the machine learning operators. For only vector, we'll uh, spot complex types and the same operate optimizations. And OmniJIT will spot operator fusion statistical specialization, hardware specialization. Totally, Omni Runtime is a framework for data uh, driving specialization, which can be used in development in the next generation uh, big data processing. Our goal is to build an OMI report that contains operators in different scenarios and uh, support different uh, um, engines. So it a lot of work need to do. So welcome to help us implement more operators and enrich the OMI runtime ecosystem. Finally, you can learn more about um, the work on the uh, progress of Omni Runtime from the Open Open community. So um, that's all about my topic. Thank you.